I'm gonna show you the most powerful way to hack a website without knowing anything about coding. Hold on, everything I teach is for educational purposes only, not illegal activity, so promise, no, pinky promise, you're gonna be good, all right? Let's go. Every time you visit a website, there's a URL, all right? Everybody knows this, nothing earth shattering here. But as a hacker, a URL is often the key to understanding exactly how developers organize their website so you can then use that to your advantage. Think about it like this. When I was a little boy, I'd always play the original old school Zelda game for NES. I'd be exploring a dungeon and acquire a map, only to find there are hidden rooms right next to me on the map, but there's one big problem there aren't any doorways leading inside. It's completely blocked off. So I just do what any little kid would do in the same situation. Pick up a bomb and blast the hole right through that wall, making my own way in. And this is exactly what you can do with URLs. Let me take you back to one of my very first hacks, but instead of just listening about it, let's actually do this hack together so you can click the link below if you wanna follow along. Here on OnlyFans, you get to see the watermarked thumbnails of images unless you become a member for $99 a month. Or you could just hack it. Like I said earlier, the URL is a map for how the developers organize the website. So we just need to find the hidden room, so to speak, by looking at the URLs of the thumbnails to see what we can learn. To do this, simply right click and select open image in new tab. Now let's break down this URL. At first glance, this doesn't look all that helpful, but it actually has everything we need to hack this website and steal all the photos without making a single purchase. The first part, is slash photo sets. It makes sense, we're looking at a photo set. Then there are some random numbers and this is just the ID of the photo set we're looking at. And then finally the file name of the thumbnail itself, 56789-th.png. Now, let me ask you something. What do you think the TH stands for? Thumbnail. If this is the URL for the thumbnail, what do you think the URL for the full-sized image looks like? How about we just take off the TH? We just hacked our way into getting the full-size image without paying a penny for a membership. Now think about how we're going to steal the remaining photos in the photo set. There might be an easier way, and by might be, I mean there is. If this file name is just an example of one photo, we just need a new file name, and since there's a number involved, we can just add one, or subtract one. So let's try this out on another one of the photo sets. Let's look at Orca Love this time. And open image in new tab. What we're gonna do is change the file name here so we can get the full size image. Remove the TH. Whoa. There's the full size image. Now we're going to add one to this, 66. And finally subtract one from the original 65, so it's going to be 64. There you go. You can do the exact same thing with the other one as well. This time with Beta Beauty, open image in new tab, and we're doing the exact same thing. Remove the TH, hit enter, and there's a full size original. We're gonna add one, 88, and subtract one from the original, 86. And there you go. Now websites manage a ton of resources like private information. And a lot of the time, the only thing protecting it is just the assumption that you're not gonna change the URL. This means the key to this hack is to find the resource IDs in the URLs and change them. For instance, websites can use usernames, email addresses, numbers, and so on, and the data return can expose sensitive private information or locked features you're not supposed to see. Wait a sec, this obviously has a potential to expose a lot of private information, so because I'm not expertly qualified to give legal advice and guarantee you won't be raided by the feds, here is just some friendly advice. Only use this against your own accounts rather than trying to expose actual private user information. Just a friendly tip. We're gonna cover more advanced attacks and later recipes in the no code hacking course, but 
What's important to know is that this vulnerability is actually likely to be the most common problem on the web. Maybe even more common than XSS, which we do a deep dive into in the Ultimate XSS training course. The difference here is that security scanners don't easily find these vulnerabilities, so they oftentimes just go unnoticed and unpatched. After all, most scanners don't know the difference between normal data and sensitive data or what permissions a user is supposed to have. And for developers, it gets worse. As we saw, it doesn't require complex coding skills or social engineering trickery to exploit it. So really, anybody can find these vulnerabilities pretty easily just by doing a little exploration every time you find a new map. Hold on, we're just getting started with the no-code hacking course. Now is your chance. Put the skills you just learned to use and solve the challenges for this recipe. Head over to chefsecure.com, link below, and see if you can win. That's chefsecure.com, link below, and let me know in the comments how it goes. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.